Hello you guys! Welcome to the Philippines and welcome to Cebu. Now that you just arrived in your hotel, settled in, and you're ready and excited to explore Cebu. I know a lot of travelers wanted to experience everything locally as much as possible, including transportation. So in this video, I will show you how locals commute every day. I will be showing you how to commute in buses, taxi, jeepneys, motorcycles, and our very own traditional transport. Buses here in Cebu are commonly seen in the terminals and is used if you're traveling going to the north or going to the south part of Cebu. If you want to visit the northern part, then you go straight to the north bus terminal. Likewise, if you're going to the south, then go straight to the south bus terminal. These buses don't cross the city streets. The north bus terminal is located on the northern part of the city so it will not cross the streets, so is the south bus terminal. There are two types of buses, the ordinary one which is non-aircon and the air conditioned. The difference in fare is usually about 20 pesos to 100 pesos depending on how far your destination is. Don't worry, they are obliged to give you a ticket with your corresponding fare. Though there are some buses that has routes within the city streets, such as these yellow buses, the my bus, and the mini bus called Beep. I will be talking about these buses on my later videos. If you are in a hurry to go to the northern part or the southern part of Cebu, then you need the vans for hire or what we locally known as V-hire. Since buses can only drive through big highways, which sometimes are traffic, these V-hires have different routes to make your travel faster. And the best part of it is that once they have accepted a passenger, they are only allowed to stay for one hour. Even if not full, they need to drive off to their destination. For V-hire going to the northern part, their terminal is just right beside the north bus terminal. For V-hires going to the southern part, their terminal is about 10 minutes drive from the south bus terminal. Just ask any local there to help you find the right van. Taxi is very convenient and safer. Taxi here runs by a meter. There's no negotiation done. All you need to do is to hail a taxi, get inside, and tell the driver your destination. And that's it. It is illegal here if there is a negotiation done or a fixed price. But there are some exceptions. If you want to take a taxi to tour you around the city, then you can negotiate the price. Or, if you want a taxi to take you to the north or south, then you can negotiate. You can understand because there is lesser people in the rural side and nobody's gonna pay for the gas of the taxi going back to the city. Aside from a taxi, you can hail a private car. Unfortunately, there is no Uber in the Philippines and that includes Cebu. But we have Grab. It's the same as Uber. Just download the app on your phone. Put in your pickup point, your destination, and book. It will then show you where the car is in real time, the name of the driver, the plate number, the model and color of the car, and of course, the fare. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to download, install, and use the Grab application, please click on the link below. Now, if you want to roam around the city, the cheapest transport would be the Chibneys. As of 2019, the minimum fare is 7 pesos. Our Chibneys comes in different colors and different sizes. But there is one thing that is common to them. Have you noticed? Yes, the number and letters that is posted above. That is the root number. It usually consists of two numbers and a letter. 
These root numbers are indication to where the jeepney goes or its route. If you wanted to ride the jeep, just do the same as hailing a taxi. Wave one arm. And if you need to pass your fare to somebody, just say, Malihog ko. Salamat. And if you want to drop off, just say, Lugar lang. Just make sure the driver can hear you. Or you can do this. Cebu is getting progressive and that comes with traffic really building up. It's really frustrating, I know. Anyways, if you're in a hurry and you think there is a traffic ahead, then you can hail a motorcycle or what we call a habal habal. Habal habal is really hard to identify because they do not wear any uniforms or any identifications. They will just usually slow down and driving towards you and would say, Motor ma'am? Motor sir? It is really sad for me to say this, but I would not recommend you to do this. There are reported cases that some drivers are criminals themselves. So as a fellow traveler, I won't recommend you this. But I would recommend you Angkas. Angkas is same as Grab, but it's a motorcycle. Angkas is much safer as it will show you the driver's details. All you need is a local phone number. Download the app, put in all the information including your local number, follow the instructions, put in your pickup point, your destination, and book. It will show you the picture of your driver, the plate number, and the fare. These information will also be sent to your email for safekeeping. If you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to download, install, and use Ancas application, please click on the link below. And if you want it to go traditional, then you can hail our Tartanilla. Tartanillas are not allowed in highways, so they have limited destinations. As I have observed, these tartanillas are seen outside Carbon Market around 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Tartanillas have 5 passenger capacity for only 8 pesos each. You can hail this ride all for yourself or what we call Pacquiao. If you are in Carbon Market and wanted to go to the Buan Market, then you can hail this all for yourself for only 50 pesos. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about Cebu.